Alrighty, hey guys, Funny Guy Timmy here for a microphone shootout. So, not that long ago, I reviewed the NW5200. <laughs> I'm looking right at it. The newer NW5200. Did a video on that. Uh, link to what will be in the description. But today I wanted to do a shootout between it and the and another microphone that I have that's in the same price point, about. Uh, I know that, that this microphone is actually now available for less, but I think if you were to take away all the features that this microphone doesn't have from the newer microphone, I think that they would probably be within the same price range, ballpark, it kind of thing. So, uh, against the newer microphone, we have the MXL uh, V67G, uh, which I think you can find this microphone for like 50 now. I think you can find it for like $50. And the newer is about 68 and it comes in the full package deal, which the V67G doesn't come with a giant pop filter, comes with a modest size pop filter. Uh, it doesn't come with the shock mount, and it only comes in a little leather pouch. So I think when you take away the case and the features like the figure eight and the omnidirectional and the low cutoff and the negative 10 dB off of this microphone, I think it brings them closer in price range. So uh, other than that, they're very similar microphones in the fact that they are you know shaped similarly i think they have pro pretty much the same size diaphragm same frequency you know 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz um so they're very similar in many respects but at the same time they also sound very very different now the mxl you know V67G is going into my Zoom H6 right here. And it doesn't, neither of these have compression, neither of them have the low, low cutoff, they don't have an EQ, none of that. You're listening to both of them flat, and I'm going to be going back and forth. And I'm really going to just going to be talking about the things that I like about each one and the things that I don't like about each one. So the thing that I like about the V67G is I think it's MXL's cheapest or most affordable microphone. I don't really feel like it's cheap at all, but it's their. I think it's their most affordable large diaphragm microphone. I don't know if that's right. I feel like it is. Let me know in the comment section below. Also, it's incredibly rugged. And if you guys have watched my other video where I did a shootout between it and the Audio-Technica 2020, it's very, very similar. It has a slightly higher noise floor. So, you know, it's similar, but yes, it is half the price and you can kind of tell in the fact that it's not as uh, clear it's not as you know there's not as much clarity and there's a slightly higher noise floor but it's really really close you could easily match the two in post no problem the newer microphone is a much much brighter microphone it's an incredibly sharp microphone I think it's actually the brightest microphone I think I've reviewed I'm not positive but it's one it's probably one of the brightest microphones that I've ever used. That's relatively good. I think there's other ones that I've reviewed that are really, really terrible that are incredibly bright and I hate them. This microphone I don't hate. I I actually like this microphone. It's actually incredibly good. There is one thing that I I, I think I forgot to bring up in my review of this microphone is the fact that it, the newer microphone is the fact that I think it has a short in it. Because when I was first plugging it up, I actually felt kind of a shock when I was touching the um, the switches and the shock mount, which is an incredibly common thing for some microphones that have like shorts in them. And so I think it might have a short in it. I'm not positive. It wasn't like incredibly uncomfortable. It was just kind of like a, oh, interesting. So that is something right there. So I don't know if it's this particular one. I, I think this particular microphone is either discontinued or being discontinued and that might be part of it i'm not sure i'm not following up on why they do or don't do certain things not really what i'm here to do so i like this microphone but it does have problems but it is their nicest microphone 
So, here we go. We're going to give you some silence. We're going to switch between the two, let you listen to the two of them. And again, the only thing that I'll be doing is normalizing the audio for both of these microphones. They uh, are both basically at the same levels. That's it. So, silence. Alrighty, so there you go. That is a comparison of the noise floor or the noise of both of these microphones. Microphones? The hell was that? Microphones? I know how to say the word. I would consider both of these microphones in the same skill level. What I mean by skill level is voice actors who are trying to get into voiceover and are at this level. So there's complete and total novice or amateur who doesn't know anything about voiceover. And that would be more like the, you know, the NW500 or the 800, which would be more like that level, where it's, it's not the kind of microphone where you should be making any money, but it's, a, it's more than enough for you to get practice in proximity, in treating your space, in, you know, reading dialogue. It's more than enough. This one... Both of these are just past that. So if there was novice, then there would be amateur, um, you know, and then, you know, moving higher up. I need to figure out the, the tier system. But both of these are at a level where someone who has maybe been doing voiceover for a year, year or two, that... They don't have an agent. They don't have representation. No one knows who they are. Maybe they don't really have a demo, but they could be making money. They have just enough skill and know-how as far as using the microphone, reading the copy, using the program, that they could be making money. Not, I wouldn't say commercial work, but where they could be doing you know, stuff for YouTubers, where they could be doing um, long-form narration for YouTube videos, or they could be doing fan dubs, or... App games, I think this would be totally fine for an app game. Um, that level. And then just past that is doing more professional stuff where you're actually, you know, working with clients overseas or you're working, you know, in more of a local commercial level. I think that would be it. These are just shy of that. Um, the reason that I say that this one's just shy of that is because the newer is because it's bright. It's because it is so bright. And when a microphone is so much in one direction or the other, you know, it takes a little bit more to EQ that out. And when you have to do so much EQing to a microphone to get it to sound a little bit smoother and a little bit more natural, it does kind of take away from the whole... Your, your goal is to have a microphone that you can record and send without having to do anything. That would be your goal. Now, there's very few microphones where you can actually do that, and there's a very few projects where, you know, the client will literally just use the audio that you send them as is. Most of the time they do some kind of post-processing. But you do want to get to a point where your microphone, your setup, your interface, all of that would allow you to do that. That means that it's the, the best quality that it can be. Um, and so this one would be far from that. But not unusable. But not bad. Totally good beginner microphones. Both right here. Uh, and then this one, of course, is just, I like it. I just do. It sounds pretty good. It is always going down in price. And I could, I, you can literally find this microphone anywhere. You can find it on any website. You can find it anywhere. Name a website. Name a website where you can buy stuff. You can probably find someone selling this. Guaranteed. And it doesn't have any bells and whistles. It just comes as is. It sounds totally fine. And it's totally good for making money. You can make money with this microphone, plain and simple. So, anyway, thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Totally fine. Leave down in the comment section below which of these microphones you liked best and why. That would be awesome to know. Again, whatever links I can find to these microphones. Don't know how easy it's going to be to find a link to this one because I think they're discontinuing it. Will be in the description. So, uh, don't forget to subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications. And until next time, peace.